And as the worst version of Omicron picks up speed, what are we in for? Joining us now, Dr. Jay Varma, former advisor to Mayor de Blasio during the pandemic, now director of Wild Cornell Medicine's Center for Pandemic Prevention and Response. Welcome to you. Good to have you on, doctor. I know that last week you were tweeting out that now with the BA5, your concern is we're getting ready to see a new wave. How so? Yeah, unfortunately, the virus keeps finding new ways to threaten us. It's basically looking at our defenses and finding new ways to escape it. And this is a roller coaster that we're not really ready to get off of yet, no matter how much we really do want to be off of it. Are we prepared for it? Well, so there's good news and bad news. You know, mm -hmm. the good news is New Yorkers know what to do. You know, nothing has changed about our advice. You got to get vaccinated, and we want basically anybody five and above to have had three doses of vaccine. Uh, people know how to wear masks. They know how to get tested. Uh, they know that there's treatment available. We just need people to be aware that if they get any symptoms at all, they should really be thinking about COVID and, and taking those measures that we know are important to, to controlling it. But as we know that vaccine makers are working on new vaccines to, to, um, to match whatever we're yeah. in for. Is that still, though, a concern that, that it may be immune to these? Yeah, so this is a, a big concern. You know, right now, we as, as you know, humans are kind mm. of can catch up with the virus. You know, by the time we're able to come up with kind of a new uh, offense against it, a new defense against it, the virus is coming up with a new offense. But here's the good news. The good news is, you know, what we've seen with vaccines is that the more doses of it you get, the broader your kind of immune response is. And so you're not 100% protected. We know that. Mm. But it's better than not being protected. You know, I'd rather go out in a, in a war zone with, with Kevlar on, even if I don't have a helmet. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of the same thing. We're just telling people, keep putting on that armor uh, through vaccines um, and use, make choices that are good for you. You know, if you're going to spend a lot of time indoors with other people and, and you're worried about getting sick, use a high quality mask. We have a couple of stats to talk about, uh, yep. Dr. Varma. So we know, looking at the, the hospitalizations that we're seeing right now, in 2020, five people per 100,000. In 2021, two people per 100,000. And now in 2022, we're seeing 10 people per 100,000. Now the good news is that we're not seeing the deaths that we were seeing, but we're still seeing an increase. And why is that? Yeah, and the reason is because the virus is wily, you know, and so the vaccines have done a really good job at protecting people from dying, but people who are susceptible, so either because of old age or because of medical conditions, or in some situations because they're unvaccinated, mm -hmm. um, they're still at risk. And the virus keeps finding new ways to kind of infect people. Mm -hmm. And what, again, think of it kind of like the bulletproof vest analogy. You're still going to get hit. You'll still get your ribs cracked, right. um, but you're less likely to die. But uh, this is because this is virus is finding new ways to, to be more infectious to people. And more and more, we're talking monkeypox. We know that here in the city, we finally just got a new batch of the vaccine. There are some 111 cases uh, in the city. I know in the past you've talked about sort of mirroring that. Remember back in March of 2020, we didn't think it was a big deal what we were going to go through with a pandemic. Are we facing that again? So there's good news and bad news here. The good news is this is not an infection that spreads as easily as COVID does. And so far, in both in the Europe and the US, nobody is dying from this illness. So that's the good news. The bad news is we know from infectious diseases that a small fire can become a big fire if you don't put it out more quickly. Um, and I worry that the federal government response isn't quite as strong as it should be um, to really prevent this fire from getting bigger. I'm worried that it might go on beyond the population that we think. Is that possible? Yeah, because this is a, a virus that is not spread by sex. You know, a lot of people are getting it because they're having sex, but it just spread by skin to skin contacts, just the same way, you know, chicken pox is spread or a lot of other skin infections. So the concern is that if you don't clamp it down now, mm -hmm. Kids could get it. They could potentially spread it in daycare settings. Other people can spread it different ways. And, and we really don't want that to happen. And the, the good news also for this is that we have, unlike COVID at the beginning, we actually have a test, we have vaccines, and we even have drugs we can use to treat this. And so we just need a more focused effort from government uh, to get those out there. Because, you know, people like me, we just want to keep things down right. while they stay we down do because it. they come back and haunt you in other ways. All right, Dr. Jay Varma, good to have you on the 6 o'clock news and have you here in person. Appreciate Great. it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.